ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಶುಭ ಮುಂಜಾನೆ ಸುಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶೋಧನಾ ಥೆರಪಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶೋಧನಾ ಥೆರಪಿ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ನೇಹನ ಕರ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹನ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಬ್ಕು ಪತಾ ಚಲ ಗಾಯ ಹೋಗ ಕಿ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಬೋಲೆ ತೋ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಹೋ ಸಕ್ತ ಘೀ ಹೋ ಸಕ್ತ ಸಬ್ಕು ಪತಾ ಹೈ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಾರೋ ಅಯಂ ಪುರುಷ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಆಪ್ಯ ಗುಣೋ ವಿಶೇಷ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಅಂಬು ಗುಣೋ ಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಯಸ್ಯ ಕ್ಲೇದನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಹ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮಾರ್ಧವಂ ಕೃತ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧೋ ಬಲವರ್ಣ ಕೃತ ತಡ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಾರೋ ಪುರುಷ ಇಫ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಾರೋ ಪುರುಷ ಅನದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸ್ನೇಹೋ ಆಪ್ಪಂ ಗುಣ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಪ್ಪ ಮಹಾಭೂತ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಅಂಬು ಗುಣೋ ವಿ ಗುಣೋ ಭೂಯಿಷ್ಟ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಅಂಬು ಗುಣ ವಿಚ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಎಸ್ಯ ಕ್ಲೇದನೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಹ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೇದನ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಸೊ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮಾರ್ಧವ ಕೃತ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧೋ ಬಲವರ್ಣ ಕೃತ ತದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾರ್ಧವ ಕೃತ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಲವರ್ಣ ಕೃತ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸಾರೋ ಅಯಂ ಪುರುಷ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಆಪ್ಪಂ ಗುಣೋ ವಿಶೇಷ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಅಂಬು ಗುಣೋ ಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಎಸ್ಯ ಕ್ಲೇದನೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಹ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮಾರ್ಧವ ಕೃತ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧೋ ಬಲವರ್ಣ ಕೃತ ತದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಎಟಿಮಾಲಜಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಹಿಂದಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ನಿರುಕ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನಿರುಕ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಸ್ಕಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿರೈವ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಧಾತು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಯತ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಶಾರಂಗಧರ ಸಂಹಿತ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ರಿತು ಪ್ರಿತು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಆರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸ್ನೇಹನೆ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ನೇಹನೆ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ದ ಲುಬ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಪ್ರೀತೌ ಪ್ರೀತೌ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ದ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಸ್ನೇಹನೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ದ ಲುಬ್ರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಕಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಹೇಸ್
snigdha word which is derived from sneha bandhane which means the hold together or to bind we can consider it as to hold together or bind the guna that uh, snigdha the guna having the one of the main property it is called as kledana so it is doing the kledana that's what it is called name is snigdha so coming to main definition of snehana so snehana it is considered as one among the pura karma it is very essential to conduct previously before conducting the shodhana as the pura karma as like of our vamana virechana or basti nasya rakta mokshana so in uh, vamana and virechana we are giving the internal sneha pana but in nasya or basti we are doing external as the pura karma for this kind of the things so just remember in rakta mokshana also just we are externally applying the oil or sneha we can consider it as the one of the pura karma for all the pancha karma and pancha shodhana too just remember pancha shodhana and pancha karma also we are using but we are using this snehana in the different manners like in vamana and virechana we are using the both abhyantara and bahya in nasya it's a bahya like mukha abhyanga we are performing in uh, the basti also in the purva karma aspect we are giving the snehana so as like bahya snehana in rakta mokshana also before Come, performing the sira vedana and other things just we are performing this abhaya upakrama so so snehana definition is snehanam sneha vishundam mardavam kleda karakam so snehana so everyone understood this shloka is from charaka sutra sthana 22nd chapter 11th shloka just remember snehanam sneha vishundatvam mardavatam kleda karakam snigdata means first snehanam sneha so snigdata snigdata here refers to unconsciousness or chiknapan hum jo hindi mein bolte hain chiknapan ya jo uh, slimy rehta hai usko hum keh sakte hain jo snigdata so vishandata vishand vishandana or vishandata it is called as liquefaction so next is mardavata softness kledata is a moistness so these are the main what is the main property of sneha this shloka indicates from charaka sutra sthana 22nd chapter 11th shloka just remember this shloka it's a very very important shloka snehanam sneha vishandam mardavam kleda karakam so coming to the sneha dravyas so sneha dravyas so many sneha dravyas are explained in uh, our classics like sneha upagana dravyas or uh, uh, sneha ashayas is sector in charaka samhita also in charaka uh, sutra sthana also sneha pagadravya they have mentioned and other things they have mentioned and uh, uh, dasha mani bhavanti like uh, dasha upaganas they have mentioned so coming to the sneha dravya guna so mainly before going to the dravya we should remember the which properties they having the sneha so in so in charaka sutra sthana on charaka sutra sthana 22nd chapter 15th shloka they have explained about sneha dravya that is guna so dravam sukshmam saram snigdha shloka once again i am repeating the shloka for your sorry for disturbance actually i am in a hospital so patients are calling so that's why so once again i am repeating that shloka so from charaka sutra sthana 22nd chapter 15th shloka द्रवम सूक्ष्म सरम स्निग्धम पिच्छील गुरशीतल प्राय मंदो मृदु च यद्रव्यम तत्स्नेहमत सो चरक सूत्र स्थान ट्वेंटी सैकेंड चाप्टर फिफ्टीन श्लोक इट एक्सप्लेन अबउट द गुण ऑफ दट पर्टिक्युलर स्नेहा सो वन अनदर द प्रॉपर्टी और गुना विच इज एक्सप्लेन इन अष्टांग हृदय सूत्र स्थान सिक्सटीन चाप्टर फर्स्ट श्लोक दैट explains guru shita saras nigdha manda sukshma mrudu dravam aushadam snehanam prayo viparitam virukshanam just the beauty of the shloka which explains the both the shlokas are explained the same from ashtangrute also and charaka sutra sthana also the explains that the drava guna sukshma guna sara guna snigdha guna pichila guna guru guna and shita laguna and manda guna mrudu guna these are 
the main properties of the snehana in ashtangurudaya guruguna sheetaguna saraguna snigdaguna mandaguna sukshmaguna mruduguna dravaguna these are uh, the properties of snehana so they are telling here viparitam virukshanam means they are opposite to the rukshana guna so the rukshana guna having other gunas opposite to this one because snehana and rukshana both are opposite so that's what here they are explaining that the both are having the opposite characters so though uh, every drug almost the sneha dravyas which possesses almost all these kinds of the gunas so like it will do main effect is the snigdhata in the body so but there are few exception in a general rule like uh, in a rule that is the tilataila actually everyone knowing that i think uh, everyone remembering this question if you are thinking uh, according to our uh, this one uh, dravya guna concept rasaguna veera vipaka because tilataila having tikshna and ushna guna but it acts like snehana just remember because here they have told guru sheetam sarasnigdam manda sukshma mrudu dravam means here sheeta is there but tilataila having the tikshna and ushna guna but they will act like snehana so yava also yava i think uh, yava you are knowing that yava he is having guru sheeta sara but it is act like rukshana guna so it has to act if if or if are going to that properties of particular drug it has to act like snehana but it is acting like rukshana because that some of the adherent prabhava we can consider it as prabhava depending upon the prabhava of that particular dravya and some inherent factors it is considering the example i told tilataila so tilataila is because it is tikshna ushna but it's doing snehana and yava guru sheeta sara but it's doing the actions like rukshana so they may be the reason so that's why in the shloka they have given aushadam snehanam prayo prayo why they are given because of this reason only because prayo means some of the the dravyas or some of the factors which having that kind of a nature so that's what they have word term use that prayo while explaining the properties of sneha dravya so coming to what is the drava drava means the liquid state sukshma means very subtle or minute in a nature sara means which is tendency to flow and snigdha means unctuousness or a sliminess pichila pichila means very sliminess guru means heavy in nature sheetha means cold in a nature manda means sluggish and mrudu means soft in a nature so so other things uh, they have explained uh, the same things like this one so what are the properties just remember the properties and what are the things we can uh, administer so coming to the so if we are considering the classification of the particular sneha so classification of a sneha we can consider in a two factors like snehana uh, like yoni bheda eh? yoni bheda means yoni means the source from which we can derive that sneha dravyas so no, yoni bheda yoni bheda like we can consider it as in yoni bheda so sthavara sneha and jangama sneha just remember sthavara and jangama sthavara means here this is uh, wherever the vanaspatis which whichever the vanaspatis or the drugs we are using for the particular uh, the snehana purpose we can consider it under as sthavara sneha means mainly plant origin plant origin in charaka Uh, the dravyas only then charaka sutra sthana dravyas only while explaining they explained that so tilam uh, tila priyala abhishuka vibhitaki chitra eranda bruduka sarshapa kusumba uh, uh, kusumba bilva aruka mulaka atasi these kinds they have explained in the particular uh, explaining while why the sneha ashayas very important because from the sneha ashayas only we are Uh, taking the plant derived items and uh, from that only we are preparing the sneha so it's very important from where we are getting that particular the sneha so means the source source is very important in uh, various factors also it's a uh, necessary because source is uh, the necessary thing so where we are so coming to the jangama sneha jangama sneha everyone knows it's a uh, mainly because of uh, animal or uh, we can call it as animal origin so animal origin they are explaining in a different kind of uh, things 
so animal origin so animal origin they have explaining in a different things like uh, they have explaining uh, the uh, the mamsa or uh, the animals which are we are using from the at exam uh, the pashus like jangamas nehas like they have explained here the fishes machliya jo bolte hain machliya the fishes or uh, other vara uh, varaha means like pig we can consider here pig or uh, shrinkala other things we can consider under this from their their milk or uh, from their uh, other things vasa or majja or uh, we can prepare the ghrita also from that milk and other things just we can use it's a manner like uh, sneha nartha purpose so this is explained in our jangama sneha so just remember the two examples which is uh, explained in our uh, the uh, uh, sorry in our classification of stavara and uh, jangama sneha just remember stavara means the plant origin and jangama means animal origin so animal origin we can consider with with uh, examples like uh, uh, normal go go grita or uh, uh, or other things like varaha mamsa or uh, other uh, majja we can use for the purpose of the sneha so uh, some of the examples uh, they have mentioned uh, like uh, so some of the sneha upagadravyas so it's a mainly explanation is given in charaka sutra sthana 8th shloka uh fourth chapter eighth shloka in a chakrapani with the commentary that snehopagani snehasya sarpirado sneham kriyam so here they have explained the snehana kriya which is administered with the sarpi he is called as the means wherever the plant origin dravyas are there which is using by uh, the means of the sneha means one of the type we want to exp uh, to experiment or uh, to engage or to give the intervention in that condition with the sarpi because uh, sarpi cannot be uh, means sarpi can be given initially as a snehana but it it has to mix with some of the properties of a dravyas so that is called a snehopaga so like uh, snehopaga dashamani bhavanti they have explained in charaka sutra sana 4th chapter 13th shloka that is mrudvika maduka mr, uh, mudgaparni vidari kakoli kshira kakoli ಜೀವಕ ಜೀವಂತಿ ಶಾಲ್ಯಪರ್ಣಿ ಇದಿ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದ ಟೆನ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯು ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದ ಮೇನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಚರಕ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಾನ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದಶಮಾನಿಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ವೇದೋಪಗ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ವಮನೋಪಗ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ವಿರೇಚನೋಪಗ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ಶಿರೋ ವಿರೇಚನೋಪಗ ದಶಮಾನಿ ಭವಂತಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಮೇನ್ ಡ್ರಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಐಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನೇಹನ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೃದ್ವಿಕಾ ಮಧುಕ ಮುದು ಮುದ್ಗಪರಣಿ ಮೇಧಾವಿದಾರಿ ಕಾಕೋಲಿ ಕ್ಷೀರ ಕಾಕೋಲಿ ಜೀವಂತಿ ಶಾಲಪರಣಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ so coming to the mahasnehas everyone uh, wondering that what are the mahasnehas so mainly the root which we are uh, sorry root no source which we are using for our clinical purpose or experimental purpose like bahya snehana or abhyantara snehana so so mainly the shloka says like this sarpi uh, the it is explanation given in ashtangarudaya sutra sthana 16th chapter second shloka it's very very impo- important shloka it's explain about the which are the pravara snehas so like sarpi vajja masata vasatailam sneheshu pravaram matam so just remember sarpi majja vasatailam sneheshu pravaram matam tatra api cha uttamam sarpi samskarasya anuvartanat so and maduryadi vidahi so just remember the shloka sarpi majja vasa tailam sneheshu pravara matam so sarpi taila vasa majja are considered best among the sneha so whichever you are going across the snehana factors the sarpi taila vasa majja are the prime importance or given the best among the all of the snehas so in among that four sneha the sarpi or gritha can be considered as the uttama ತತ್ರ ಅಪಿ ಚ ಉತ್ತಮ ಸರ್ಪಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದ ಉತ್ತಮ 
So uttama means the best is the sarpi. So sarpi having one type of the property, it is called a samskarasya anuvartanat. Samskarasya anuvartanat, only the sarpi having this kind of a property. What is this? What is this samskarasya anuvartana means? By proper processing, the qualities will get increased without losing the own properties. So, example, if you are preparing the own type of avshadi yukta sneha, you are, uh, means, you are uh, some uh, other dravyas in that, so while preparing the sneha, but the sarpi having the vishishta guna, that is samskarasya anuvartana, means what it will do, it will not lose its properties, it will add on, means it's having the add on properties, it will enhance the other properties, it will not ease own properties, it will take other properties also with along with its properties. Just remember, this is the only samskarasya anuvartana, like which of the properties it will hold, like madhuryata, the sweetness of that particular grita it will hold and avidahata means not causing any burning sensation. So avidahata property and satme in nature, these properties it will not lose by adding any of the aushadiyakta dravya also. So coming to first one that is grita. So what is the grita? So, Grita is one among the Jangama Sneha. I told you about the source of that particular Sneha. One among the Jangama Sneha, which is uh, best of the properties like Samskarasya Anuvartana. So, if we are uh, going through the classification of Grita, from where we can uh, get this Grita? Everyone remembering that after Dadi, we can do the Mantana and Navanita prepared and we can uh, adopt our Grita. So here, some of the explanation in Sushruta Chikisasana, they have explained that we are having the Grita from the two sources, like one is Kshirutta and other is Dadiyutta. So means one is originated from Kshira, one is originated from Dadi. So how it is from Kshira means the Grita is prepared from the Kshira. So how means by churning of milk itself, you have to take a milk and directly churn, starting the churn that time the navanita or butter it will come on that particular uh, layer of that milk we can take that navanita and just heat it the sarpi is prepared this is the one type of the kshirota how you have to prepare one type and another type is the grita which is prepared from by churning the curd you are preparing the milk after that curd and curd is churning after that the butter is coming on the layer just you can use that is grita which is prepared from the navanita so, coming to the Rasaguna Virya Vipaka of this, uh, the particular Gita is the Rasa was Madhuradasa, Guna is Saumya Guna, Mrudu Guna, Guru Guna, Avishandi Guna, Virya is Shita Virya, Vipaka is Madhura Vipaka, Doshagnata is Vata Pitta Prashamana, Kafa, uh, Kafa Vartaka, Karma is Snehana Karma, Agni Deepana, Balakaraka, Ayusha, Rishya, Medya, Vayastapana, Chakshisha. This all those things, the Saguna Viri Vipaka, which is explained in Sushruta Sutrasthana 45th chapter 96th shloka and Charaka Sutrasthana 27th chapter uh, 231 and 32nd shloka. So, so some are asking me to just you can give an uh, explanation in Hindi also. Just I am simultaneously go with Hindi and English both. Like, Jo Grita Hota hai, two types se hum uh, usko use kar sakte hai. Ya Grita ko hum originate kaha se? two types से, एक क्षीर से या दधी से, so वैसे ही हम यहाँ पे देख सक, देख सकते हैं, उसका रस गुना वीर विपाक क्या है, रस इस मदरा, गुना इस साउम्या मृदु गुरु अभिशंदी गुना, वीर इस शीत वीरिया विपाका, मधुर विपाका, दोषक नताई स्वात पित्त प्रशमना एंड कफ वर्धका, so कर्म इस स्नेहना अग्नि दीपना बलकारका आयुष्या � so, it's Upayoga, where we can indicate this, uh, the Sneha, uh, sorry, uh, the Grita. Grita can be used in various conditions, in almost all the conditions. Just remember, wherever the Kapha Vardhana is there, just we can avoid uh, depending upon the, the properties or are prepared with uh, other Aushadi Yukta Dravyas. Like, we can use in Kapha Vardhaka also, like Kashwasa Kasa, other things we can use different kinds of grita like kantakari grita etc we can use as uh, because of tishna property and other things we can use in this condition so just remember just we have to use the yukti these are the basic concepts 
in our acharya says that acharya is not uh, like a spoon feeding that are not given just we have to uh, understand the particular shastras after the shastras only we are knowing how to implant the particular sneha in which type of a conditions so here they have given uh, the upayoga in like udavarta so uda udavarta unmada apasmara shula jwara anaha in this condition we are, we can use this kind of things so coming to the uh, properties uh, that is uh, only charaka sutra sthana 13 chapter it is explained that ghatam pitta nilaharam rasa shukra jasam hitam nirvapanam rudukaram swarna varna prasadanam this wonderful shloka it explains the properties kritam pitta anilaharam it specifies the pitta and anila ye jo pitt ko aur vayu ko kam karta hai aur ye rasa ke liye hitakar hai it's beneficial for rasa shukra and ojasa so ye kiske liye hitakar hai rasa shukra aur ojas ke liye hitakarak hai so nirvapanam mrudakaram nirvapanam here nirvapanam refers to daha prashamanam jo क्या करता है दाह प्रशमन का काम करता है और ये मृदुकरम स्वर वर्ण प्रसाद रम इट विल इंक्रीज द सॉफ्टनेस जो बॉडी में मृदुता पहलाता है और स्वर्ण वर्ण प्रसाद रम विच विल इम्प्रूव और नरिशेस द स्वर वर्ण प्रसाद ना सो जस्ट इट्स गिविंग and uh, the indications it's a uh, giving in a charaka sutra sana same 30 and chapter only the vata pitta prakruta yo vata pitta vikarina ha chakshu chakshu kamaha kshata kshina ha riddha balasta abalaha ayuhu prakarsha kamascha balavarna swararthina ha pushti kamaha praja kamaha so kumarya yatan ischa ye so in that example only they have explained that the persons who having the vata pitta prakruti and the diseases due to vata pitta and those who are keen to ready to chakshu kamaha whoever um, uh, whoever want to improve their eyesight and improve their strength kshataha kshinaha so and whoever uh, want to increase their life span or balavarna complexion etc in that condition they can use this grita so जो यहाँ पे बता है जो घृत कहाँ पे इंडिकेशन करना है जो वात पित्त प्रकृति हो या जो भी व्याधि वात पित्त से ओरिजिनेटेड हो या जो भी चक्षु के लिए आपके आंखों के लिए अच्छे लगने के लिए यूज करना हो उस कंडीशन में जो जो भी पतला हो इमेशन हो उस कंडीशन के लिए जो भी रुद्ध के लिए हो और कोई भी आयु का मना काना पूरता है मुझे लॉन्ग लाइफ तक जीना है ऐसे कंडीशन में जिसको भी बल का इच्छा है उस कंडीशन में जिसको भी उसका कॉम्प्लेक्शन जो वर्ण रहता है स्वर रहता है उसको इम्प्रूव करने के लिए सो जो यूथनेस बोलते हैं यौवनता बोलते हैं उसको इम्प्रूव करने के लिए इस कंडीशन को हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं और अभी एक बता है अष्टांगदय सूत्र स्थान में तत्र धी स्मृति मेधाधिक आंक्षिना जो इंटेलेक्चुअल होना चाहते हैं जस्ट रिमेंबर अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टूडेंट पर्पज ओनली आई एम टेलिंग दैट जस्ट अष्टांग हृदय सो इसके लिए घर में बोलते हैं जब बुजुर्ग बोलते हैं दैट एनिशियंट एनिशियंट्स मीन्स अवर एनिशियंटर्स दे टोल दैट वेन एवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज यूर माइंड शार्पली जस्ट यू कैन यूज द घृता डेली सो ऐसे ही बोलते हैं जो बुजुर्ग बोलते हैं डेली घृत ले लो अपने आप आपका बुद्धि भी बढ़ जाएगा ऐसे ही यहाँ पे एग्जाम्पल्स दिया है धी स्मृति मेधा सो so, वैसे ही आपको यूज करना पड़ता है सो so, नॉर्मल में हम घृत कितने प्रकार के होते हैं जैसे नॉर्मल घृत होता है जब आप यूज करते हैं औषधि युक्त द्रव्य हो घृत हो सकता है औषधियों को मिक्स करके उसको बनाते हैं थोड़े घृत होते हैं लाइक पुराना घृत बोलते हैं पुराना घृत बोले तो जो दस साल से पुराना होता है अकड़ेक्ट सुश्रुत तो मैं बता रहा हूँ जो दस साल का पुराना रहता है उसको पुराना घृत बोलते हैं और भाव प्रकाश ने तो बताया एक साल भी हो गया तो उस घृत को हम पुराना घृत बोल सकते हैं सो so, uh, और कौम्ब सर्पी करके रहता है वो 11 से लेके 100 साल तक के अंदर रहा तो उसको कौम्ब सर्पी बोलते हैं जब 100 साल के ऊपर हो गया तो उसको महाग्रत बोलते हैं वैसे जो पुराना ग्रत या कौम्ब सॉरी 
कौम्बग्रता या महाग्रता वो डिफरेंट कंडीशन के हिसाब से हम उसको यूज़ कर सकते हैं मेनली जब हम क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस में पुराना घृत गोघृत यूज़ करते हैं जैसे हम जो मदाते पेशेंट है या उन्माद अपस्मार है जब हम एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस करते हैं जैसे हम आज के डेट को एक घृत को आ, क्या करते हैं एक कबड़ में बंद करके रख देते हैं उसके ऊपर डेट डाल देते हैं उसको नेक्स्ट ईयर इसी मंथ के बाद मीन्स इसी वर्ष के बाद एक वर्ष होने के बाद उसको हम मदाते पेशेंट्स में या उन्माद अपस्मार पेशेंट्स में मेनली हम यूज़ करते हैं आ, क्योंकि जो पुराना होता है वो मेधे के लिए या कुछ मानसिक रोगों में उनका इफेक्ट या उनका जो इफेक्ट रहता है वो बहुत आ, अच्छी तरीके से होता है सो so, इसके लिए हम मेनली उन्माद अपस्मार कंडीशन में हम इस कंडीशन इसको यूज़ करते हैं सो so, हम देखा जाए तो न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यूज जब हम मॉडर्न से कंपेयर किए तो उसमें कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स जो हैं जीरो परसेंट है प्रोटीन जीरो परसेंट है सर विटामिन ए जो है थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइन्टी नाइन इंटरनेशनल यूनिट्स दैट इज़ आई यू एंड विटामिन ई जो है फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सेवन एम जी इसको हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं इसमें कोलेस्ट्रॉल टू फिफ्टी है सो so, जब इसका टोटल फैट और फैटी एसिड्स कंपेयर करते हैं क्योंकि सब तरफ ये जो रहता है नॉर्मल में क्या बोलते हैं जो भी मॉडर्न डॉक्टर या अदर डॉक्टर्स हो जब भी बोलते हैं तो आप घी कम करो या जो फैट कम करो क्योंकि आपको हार्ट का प्रॉब्लम है बीपी का प्रॉब्लम है इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट सो लेकिन हम क्या करते हैं जब आयुर्वेद में हम शोधन वगैरह देना चाहते हैं तो हम घृत ही देते हैं सो so, ऐसे कुछ नहीं है कि घृत से अपने आप कोलेस्ट्रॉल बढ़ जाएगा अदर थिंग्स बढ़ जाएगा ऐसे कुछ रूल्स नहीं है सो so, जब हम क्या करते हैं तो इसके लिए यहाँ पे टोटल फैट्स दिया है टोटल फैट्स जो है 99.5 ग्राम्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स इन 100 ग्राम्स ऑफ घी हम ले लिए तो और सैचुरेटेड फैट है 16.1 ग्राम एंड मोनोसैचुरेटेड फैट जो है 28.7 ग्राम्स एंड पॉली अनसेचुरेटेड फैट है 3.7 ग्राम्स एंड ट्रांस फैट फोर ग्राम्स एंड ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड्स वन वन डबल एंड ओमेगा सिक्स फैटी एसिड्स डबल so it's a nutritional value of the particular thing just where to remember uh, coming to the next stop grita ho gaya gritam tailam sarpi tailam so second is the taila it's one among the chatursneha and it's considered as best vata hara dravya so yahan pe jo guna karma uske bataye hain tailam tailam swayo nivrittam mukhyam tikshna vivahi cha tvag dosha drika chakshushyam sukshmano kafakrana cha कृषाण भ्रमणयालाम स्थूलाम कर्षण चारी बद्धविटक कृमिघ्न च संस्कार से सर्वरोगाजिता सो so, ये श्लोक जो बता है अष्टांग हृदय सूत्रस्थान फिफ्थ चैप्टर फिफ्टी फिफ्थ श्लोक जस्ट ये श्लोक बता है और और एक श्लोक बता है चरक सूत्रस्थान थर्टीन चैप्टर फिफ्टीन श्लोक ये श्लोक ऐसा है मतघ्न न च श्लेष्मवर्धन बलवर्धन त्वच उष्ण स्थिकर तैलम योनि विशोधनम जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस श्लोका सो कमिंग टू द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर श्लोका इट एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द रसगुण वीर विपाक ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर द द्रव्यास लाइक रस वॉज द मधुर रस तिक्त एंड कषाय वॉज द अनुरस ऑफ द तैला गुण इज द तीक्षण गुण गुरु स्निग्ध विकसी एंड सरगुण एंड द वीर वॉज उष्ण वीर विपाक वॉज मधुर विपाक दोषग्नता वॉज वातहर so it is mainly what the hara it will not increases the kapha so mainly we can uh, think that in uh, obesity and uh, the other patient if you want to plan the sneha pana we can give the taila example murchita taila or trifala taila uh, trifala taila it's not indicated mainly murchita taila we can prescribe in the conditions like the stavlya so we can use this conditions the uh, stavlya mein hum murchita taila de sakte hain so जस्ट रिमेम्बर वात हरा दोषक तक क्या होता है और इट इज नॉट इंक्रीज द कफ और मेनली क्या होता है जब घृत में घृत इज कफ करा सो दैट्स वॉट जस्ट वी कैन लिटिल बिट वी हैव टू अवॉइड एंड इन स्तौल पेशेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्लान फॉर द शोधना जस्ट वी कैन यूज द तैला एंड कर्मा हियर रेफर्स टू इट्स क्रमिग्न स्थिर करा त्वच्छ बल करा एंड योनि विशोध का जस्ट रिमेम्बर इट इज वन ऑफ द क्रमिग्न ऑल्सो स्थिरकर मीन्स विच गिवस द स्टडीनेस इन द बॉडी त्वचा इट्स वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द स्किन एंड बलकर विच इनक्रीजेस अवर स्ट्रेंथ योनि विशोधका 
So uh, for uh, Yoni and all those things, we can using in different kinds of Yoni Rogas as Yoni Vishodaka. So it's mainly where we are using means Krishanam Brahmanaha Sulanam Karshana. In that sloka they have explained in Ashtangarade only, the Tail having the particular peculiar property that it will do Krishanam Brahmana. जो कृष्ण रहता है उसको भ्रमण भी करता भ्रमण भी करता है जो स्थूल रहता है उसको कर्षण भी करता है जब आपको मोर एक्सप्लेनेशन चाहिए तो अष्टांग हृदय जो सूत्र स्थान है फिफ्थ चैप्टर का उस श्लोका का जो फिफ्टी फिफ्थ और फिफ्टी सिक्स श्लोका का जो टीका में चाहिए वो क्लियर कट एक्सप्लेनेशन मिलता है क्योंकि उसका जो प्रभाव है वो प्रभाव ही अलग है वो वैसे इफेक्ट करता है जो बोले तो कृष्ण को भी भ्रमण कर सकता है और स्थूल को भी कर्षण कर सकता है उसकी वजह से तैल को हम बहुत प्रिडामिनेंटली हम जो पंचकर्मा में हैं या एक्सटर्नल थेरेपीज हो और अदर थिंग्स हो उसको हम यूज़ करते हैं लाइक हम अभ्यंग के लिए बला कर मैंने बताया हम क्षीर बला से डेरी अभ्यंग करें या नॉर्मल तिल सेल से करें या कोकोनट ऑयल से करें ऐसे करने के लिए क्या हो जाता है हमारा बल्ली बढ़ जाता है सो ऐसे सो सम ऑफ द सीजनल इंडिकेशन कौन से सीजन में हमें इसको देना चाहिए मेनली प्रावृत एंड शीतकाला प्रावृत ऋतु होने होना है या शीतकाला हेमंत ऋतु एक्सेट्रा होना चाहिए उस काल में हमें इसको देना है सो so, uh, थोड़े बहुत इंडिकेशंस जो बताए हैं चरक सूत्र स्थान थर्टीन चैप्टर फोर्टी फोर एंड फोर्टी सिक्स श्लोका एंड अष्टांग हृदय सूत्र स्थान सिक्सटीन चैप्टर नाइन्थ श्लोका सम दे हैव एक्सप्लेनेशन वेर वी कैन इंडिकेट द प्रॉप वेर वी कैन इंडिकेट द टाइलास लाइक प्रवृद्ध श्लेष so in pravruddha shleshma condition wherever the kapha and medas is in excess so jahan pe kapha ya med ka jyada ho wahan pe hum use karna chahiye so and uh, stula galodaraha main tabhi bataya stool mein hum use kar sakte hain ya galodar mein ya some kinds of vata vyadhi vata vyadhi bhira vishtaha vata prakriti yasha vata prakriti mein ya vata vyadhi mein hum use kar sakte hain so और बलम तनुत्व लघुता दृढ़त्व स्थिर घातृत्व जिसको भी बल चाहिए या हुए और वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज द स्ट्रेंथ और लीननेस और लाइटनेस और फर्मनेस और स्टेबिलिटी इन देर बॉडी और ओवर लिम अपर लिम्स और लोअर लिम्स दे कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ तैला इन देर सिचुएशन एंड अनदर थिंग जिन चरक सूत्र स्थान ओनली दैट्स लोक एक्सप्रेशन कृमिकोष्टा सो हु एवर इन्फेक्टेड विथ इंटस्टाइनल वर्म्स जब भी जो भी इंटस्टाइनल वर्म्स हो जो कृमि बोलते हैं या जंतु बोलते हैं वो जंतु के लिए द बेस्ट है तैल हम यूज़ करना चाहिए और जिसको भी हार्ड स्टोन्स क्रूर कोष्टा जो इसका भी क्रूर कोष्ट होता है क्रूर कोष्ट बोले तो क्या होता है मीन्स उसको नॉर्मल में दूध वगैरह पीने से कुछ मोशन नहीं होता या नॉर्मल में वो जब बॉयल पास करना चाहता है तो उसको टू टू थ्री डेज या अल्टरनेट डे मोशन होता है उसको बहुत हार्ड स्टूल पास होता है उनके लिए जो तैल है बेस्ट एग्जांपल है उनको उन्होंने इंटरनल वेन एवर दे आर यूजिंग द इंटरनल पर्पज लाइक गंधर्वस्ता दी एरेंड तैला और एरेंड तैला इफ दे आर यूजिंग रेगुलरली दैट क्रूर कोष्टा बिकम चेंज सो दैट्स वॉट वी कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ द थिंग्स लाइक वी कैन यूज इन अडाप्ट अवर प्रैक्टिस इन क्रूर कोष्टा द तैला इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन सो दैट्स वॉट इन द तैला एंड अदर थिंग्स द फॉर द विरेचना पर्पज एरंड तैला इज कंसिडर सर्व उत्तम एरंड सो एरंड इज कंसिडर एरंड हेज गिवन द प्राइम इंपॉर्टेंस इन कमिंग टू द तैल कंटेक्स्ट so that's what uh, the eranda tail gandharvastha the eranda tail or normal eranda tail we can uh, consider so coming to other indications of uh, tail uh, like the indications like granti nadi krumi sleshmaha medo maruta rogesh almost the example same explanation or a same uh, the indications which are uh, some uh, some of the indications are might be different from the charaka sutra sthana or ashtanga hrudaya but almost the same indications they have explained in conditions coming to next is vasa what is the vasa so vasa is shuddha mamsa sneho vasaha or vasa mamsa sneha the fat which is extracted from the muscle so mainly the muscles from the muscles of uh, the particular uh, the vasa can be extracted how we can uh, perform the vasa Vasa means you have to take uh, the particular mamsa and we have to start a boiling. 
continuous boiling i think it will take uh, whenever uh, we are uh, i am the means i am doing a performing a pg uh, in that time we have prepared the wasa and uh, majja so it will take uh, around 3 uh, 3 uh, days uh, to extract the complete wasa and majja also it will take longer duration according to that so majja is wasa and majja is very difficult to practice because the preparation is uh, uh difficult and uh, whenever you are performing just uh, think that it's a very bad kind of a smell you cannot tolerate the kind of a smell the wasa having so uh, if you are uh, very sensitive to that smell means whenever you are uh, going to prepare that particular wasa i think definitely you will get vomit because it's like uh, one kind of a smell you cannot imagine so wasa is a little bit difficult but it's very effective in uh, kshina person or kshata kshina person so just remember the the indications like uh, indications they are given with uh, bhagna uh, bhagna hata brushta yoni karna shiro rujihi paurusho pachaye snehe vyayami chashati vasa charaka sutra sthana 13 chapter 16 shloka the explanation uh, uh, so the wherever the wounds are there with the or bhagna or trauma condition if the prolapse of the brushta you serious condition or uh, karna or shirorusha in shirashula or karna shula or uh, to increase the power shopachaya increases the fertility in this context and also to increases the uh, what kind of things snehana or after the exercise if you are doing the more exercise in that condition wasa is the beneficial it can be internal or external just remember uh, the with the karma means mainly which is related with vata so predominantly vata bhagna and other things because the asti is the ashraya of vata so for bhagna and all those things mainly related with asti so that's what uh, in that condition the wasa is very beneficial just uh, remember the seasonal indication of this is madhava kala it's a best uh, season for the indication of the these things so uh, mainly in this conditions so wasa can be we can use coming to the majja so majja majja is astyanam ashrayam majja the majja mainly which is situated inside the bone bone after boiling just you have to cut in that situated that is called as majja so majja we can take it. astanam shuddha sneha bhagaha in the internal aspect of the asti it is considered as majja so majja the indications like uh, bala shukra bala shukra kara sleshmo medo majja vivardhanaha majja visheshato astanam cha balakrita snehe ita charaka sutra sthana 13 chapter 7 shloka it explains bala shukra kara sleshmo medo majja vivardhanaha means it will increase the strength and shukra it will increase the shukra rasa rasadatu and medo it means it will increase the fatness in the body and majja vivardhana it will increase the majja also especially mainly it will uh, helpful for the increase uh, the strength in the bone so majja visheshaho astanam means in the majja and asti the vishesha effect will be there in this rogas for the balakrata for the strength purpose we can use this kind of the things so other conditions like the majja can be indicated in uh, uh, so uh, mainly it is indicated wherever the agni agni is very good means samana agni or very wherever the agni is very pravruddha in that condition only we can use the wasa or majja and uh, can be uh, like uh, mainly because what happen it is very hard to digest so that's what whenever we are using the particular uh, wasa or a majja we can consider this factors so uh, coming to the last part of uh, today session is so if we are doing the combination of a two snehas like uh, in uh, basti and other uh, other practices we are using we can mixing the two snehas like in the anvasana basti or uh, nirva basti while preparing we are using the two kinds of a bas- um, uh, the snehas like uh, sarpi and uh, this we are using taila or sometimes we are using wasa also and majja also 
so we are mixing the two snehas which is called as yamaka sneha if we are combining the three snehas which is called as trivrutta sneha if we are using the four combination like sarpi vasa majja taila we are using the four at a time it is called as maha sneha like this whenever we are using the particular thing or the combination should be depending upon the condition of the patient so just we have to remember just remember while prescribing the just remembering grita just imagine grita one point uh, means just uh, you can draw one picture uh, just uh, i want to show you mm. so it's okay in the next class i will show you how to uh, prepare otherwise one minute i will show you so this is a paper just you have to write down in a paper you have to write down so one one side it is a grita one corner grita and uh, second ka taila vasa and majja so this time uh, i think uh, everyone uh, this is uh, so i will use back camera for this so whenever you are using first you have to write down grita next taila vasa and macha so here the guna is varies from plus 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 so just remember this is the increase in order if you are uh, understanding the four kinds of uh, the grita majja vasa taila the grita having the guru guna how the guru guna it is having in it's in a one plus in a nature taila having the 2 plus in a nature and vasa having the 3 plus and majja having 4 plus so whenever you are prescribing just remember the guru guna which is having the more guru guna so because uh, if you are giving in abhyantara marga it's very important aspect because we have to know the guru guna of that particular dravya because it will take longer time to for the digestion so we have to remember uh the particular uh, kosta and agni of the patient also we should remember just remember the guru guna it's in an increasing order like grita is plus taila is plus plus vasa is 3 plus and majja is 4 plus like that increasing order of the particular uh, the dravyas grita taila vasa majja so i think if you have any doubts just uh, put in a comment box uh, next class we will uh, start with the classification of the snehas and uh, different mode of administration like uh, how we can plan for the sneha pana and other things so i think uh, today everyone enjoyed the class so thank you everyone for being uh, in uh, niroga street live so please stay tuned on niroga street in further coming classes just we will uh, go through other uh, clinical aspects and uh, practical aspects uh, like abhyantara sneha pana and other things thank you one and all namaskar